Here's one. Oh, wow. It's right there. It's right here. Surprise. This guy, this is like when you wake up half an hour before your alarm's supposed to go off. Mm -hmm. The cicadas are here. This guy looks kind of like a cicada already. In fact, they never left. They've been underground just calmly, patiently waiting to come out for this big party. Massive numbers by the trillions to the gazillions. These things are loud and colorful and going to be in people's faces. It's been 17 years since we've seen this many cicadas getting ready to spread their wings and swarm our skies. This year is brood 10 also referred to as Brood X because it sounds even better, right? Dr. Paula Shrewsbury and the University of Maryland Cicada crew are keeping a close eye on the emergence on the College Park campus. Maryland is at the epicenter, and this is one of the large broods. It occurs in, at one time in 15 different states across the eastern United States, but that's it. That's the only place in the world. There are 15 broods or groupings of periodical cicada types in the eastern U.S. This year's Brood 10 consists of three species of the 17-year cicadas coming out together in perfect symphony. These are, are the adults, adults from 2004, which are the mothers and fathers of the cicadas that are going to emerge this year. The baby cicadas, called nymphs, have been beneath the soil eating the sap of trees for nearly 17 years. They don't move around a lot, so they're not going to be digging like t huge tunnels and like ways underground. They kind of stick with the same tree for most of their life cycle. Finally, after all that eating, they get ready to emerge. These holes were produced by the nymphs, and if you have these in your yard, that means there's a pretty good chance you're going to have an emergence in your area. The majority of all the cicadas, of those trillions of cicadas, emerge usually starting around mid-May when the soil temperatures reach 64 degrees. That's the cue. And that's when the race for a mate begins. The almost deafening chirping and buzzing you'll hear from mid-morning to dusk each day is the song of the males. Trillions of cicadas trying to make that one perfect match. But not all of the cicadas will make it. This is the biggest buffet. For, for our local wildlife. Millions of cicadas end up becoming food for countless animals. Every predator that wants to eat a cicada can eat until their belly is full and they can eat no more, including humans. Mm -hmm. And there will still be enough cicadas left to keep the populations going. After four to six weeks of adult life, they have done their duty of mating and laying eggs. They die and the cycle starts again. They can't hurt you, they don't bite, they don't sting. They fly, they're kind of clumsy flyers, so they might accidentally bump into you or land on you. Still, what if you want to get away from this once in a generation event? If you live in Maryland or this DMV area and you don't like cicadas, you could go to the eastern shore and just hang out there for about three or four weeks and wait until the cicadas are gone. Chester Lampkin, WUSA 9.